For millions of people across the world, fire is an incredibly important part of their lives. It's what they use for light. It's what they use for cooking their food on. It's what they use for creating heat. But fire can also be an incredibly destructive force. An early morning fire in Kailiche has claimed the lives of five and left more than 4,000 homeless this New Year's Day. The flames spread quickly due to heavy winds and officials have yet to Growing up and living in Cape Town, you're constantly faced with the idea of wealth disparity. As you drive along the N2, which is a major highway leading out of Cape Town, you pass by huge informal settlements and you can see even the result of a recent fire. You think to yourself, how is this fair? Like, how, how can this be? Surely there's something that can be done about this. It all started with a university thesis topic. My best friend Francois was doing a project in low-cost fire sensing technology for informal settlements. One of the most popular ways of detecting for fire is to use a smoke detector. That type of sensing technology is actually very inappropriate for an informal home where you have smoke in the form of cooking fires or paraffin stoves. So we built some initial prototypes and then actually we built a, a shack in my parents' backyard. Ready? Ready, okay, cool. Okay, you can start the test. We built a whole lot of fires, burnt a couple of devices in the process. Lumkani is a class of word that means be cautious or be aware or be careful. And the Lumkani fire detector is a rate of rise heat detector that's specifically designed to prevent the spread of shack fires. It is a small device that can be installed in your home. It measures the rate of rise of temperature in a home. And if it detects a condition that would suggest that there's a dangerous fire, it sets off an alarm to alert the people in the home people in the community would say, it's as important for me to know about my neighbor's fire as it is to know about a fire in my home. And from that point, we were like, what if we could make this communicate to each other? So then we took that sensor and slapped on a transmitter and a receiver onto it. The device will spread that alert to all neighboring devices within a 60 meter radius. This creates a community-wide alert and gives all of the neighbors the necessary time to respond before the fire spreads. It also sends SMS alerts to community members and potentially in the future to emergency services. Currently we have approximately 2,500 devices out in the field and in the next few months we have a pipeline for a few thousand more devices. This is a problem that's not just faced in South Africa. This is a daily fear for millions of people living across the world in informal settlements. Our ambition is to, to be able to allow those people to access this technology as well.